my name uh, Godwin Sabutakat. I am an indigenous of Plateau State from Mangu local government, Boy Village. I was born on the 25th March 1977 here in Jos. Uh, presently, I work with the uh, Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. I am also an entrepreneur. I think uh, I am the CEO of Fashion Roots Babin Saloon and Spa, the chairman Golden Brainstorm International Academy, Karo in Abuja, and also uh, the CEO of Golden Bite Suit. Uh, these businesses that I have, I think I like the school. I have up to like uh, 40 staff working with me at my school. While at the Fashion Baby Salon and Spa, I have uh, up to like uh, 29 currently working with me. Uh, I started my primary school in uh, Abbey Children School in Ikeja Cantonment from 1983 to 1989. From 1990, I started my from JSS1 from Command Secondary School in Nepaja <coughs> in Lagos. After which I did transfer back to the village and finished my secondary school in government secondary school by 1997. I now proceeded to School of Criminal Studies, KFE, SPS KFE, in 1998 to 1999. In year 2000, I got admission from University of Medjugorje, which I study political science. That is from 2000 to 2004. Uh, in year 2017, I obtained my MSc in International Relations from Nasarawa State University. And I am married to Mrs. Mary Godwin, and I have four children so far. I am the head of, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding, an, uh, I think, a section. I'm head of a section. That is a discipline section. So mostly what I do is writing up briefs. I, I write briefs and a memo, uh, mostly on errand er officer, those that uh, are found culpable of committing any offense in the ministry. So we issue query, we, we receive re uh, response from the officers, and of, of which from there we now write a memo or a brief on the case. So present, we used to present it to the management for determination. So mostly it's just all about this disciplinary issue where there is crisis between, maybe conflicts between two officers, they come in. So at times uh, uh, maybe anything that has to do with discipline. So this is where basically I, that is my duty, my schedule of duty. I would say my mom was really uh, an inspiration to me. My mom really pushed me. I think uh, she gave me an inspiration based on business. You know, right from when I was in primary school, when we were in the barracks to see, my mom has been, you know, I used to assist my mom in selling things on the head. I used to carry, I sell a uh, granite. I sold, uh, what do you call it, a uh, plantain. I've sold these uh, potatoes when I was in Nikeja. So that idea, you know, when I was in primary school, helping her, selling all these things. So after when I secured my admission in secondary school, I was doing that. So when I went to the university, I was still having that, that notion, you know, that uh, this is there. So I know what it, it means to, you know, come from a poor background 
So I was just struggling for struggling on my own. While I was in school, I think when uh, when uh, this uh, when this uh, network provider, when all this <coughs> MTN, whatever, all these uh, phone booths, whatever. So I think I did. I think we were the first people that started this thing. Where you they give you umbrella seat. Mm -hmm. So I was in school. I was using that to to pay my school fees, to help myself to fit. So I saw the importance of doing business right from when I was in primary. I was in university, the same thing. After my university, I continued with it. That, that was the push. I continued. I make research on businesses. I will venture into it. I make research. I've done so many business. But the one that is successful so far now is just this, this school, the spa, and what I'm doing now. I serve in Minananja State after which I base in Abuja before I secure a job. So you see, I have so many people that challenge me in Abuja, not here in Jos. So I have friends that are not from Plateau. So if you can look at when it comes to businesses, we're not really into business in Plateau. So I, I am always challenged by my friends and some senior colleagues in Abuja. So like, uh, there is this, my friend, Ui and Ayo, that those they, they own most underground. So you know these people believe in business. If you go to Abuja, it's not all about you getting a government job that you because if you say you are depending on salary, mm. even if they'll pay you five hundred thousand dollars in a month, that will not be enough for you. So but you need to get daily income. No matter how much you are getting, even it's five hundred that's coming in, you know it's something. So I from there I started getting the challenges and coupled with even I have the passion for business. So some of my friends like uh, this Chinidu, you know, there's this uh, Kaduna guy, Musa. All of them are into business. Like the Babin shop, I think it was this Chinidu, he has his own. So what he was making for me, that I look at it as okay. Why not, as a businessman to somebody who have passion in business, it's a bit of venture into it. So the same thing in the school, it's still people, you know, people that are into it who make research. How is it, what, what are the risks and what of you? So I think this is just, it's just friends and I think well wishes. I don't really have a particular mentor that really made me to venture into business. It's just my friends, people that I mingle with together in Abuja. Yeah, I, apart from the businesses, I, lo I love traveling. I travel to places to learn so many things, especially business. Like you see, like this, what I'm doing now, I think I've been to all the hotels in, in Jos. I can tell you this is what is here, this is what's obtainable here. Lagos, each time I travel out, I make sure I do research. I travel a lot and I like reading books to just to gain fresh ideas. Uh, I think uh, I, one of the reasons why we're not really into business in Plateau is the, I think, uh, is the notion of, should I say, you know, the mindset. You know, people don't, people, most people in Plateau believe it's just to get a job, maybe a federal government job, state government, local government job. So you go to the, the next, either apart from the job, is farming. You know, they don't really believe in business. They believe, they think, you know, in business, you have to take risks. Plateau people cannot take risks when it comes to business. Because in business, you go into it, though you make research, you go into it, you take a maximum risks. So definitely, there are some points you lose. So Plateau people don't have patience. And they don't have patience. I think uh, most of these things is just what they need sensitization. So that we just need to shift our idea, not only on farming and getting government work. We need to be self-employed. So if, if maybe, I don't know, if there are, I don't think there are bodies that are really sensitizing people on really needs for them to venture into business. There is no, I don't think there are, you know, things on ground. Some institutions that will talk on, you know, I know what the Ministry of Commerce, they need to do more to sensitize people. Commerce and maybe industry, they need to do more. But people will really see the reason why it's good to do business. By the time we are doing business, we are helping the economy in the plant in the state. So it's not going to be it look like what happened. Anything when you are in government, something can happen. So it don't just depend. Farming too, there's risks. 
So when you are doing business, when you the kind of like uh, you, you you when you are versatile when it comes to yes, you de diversify your, your your whatever your income. Discover that if this one is not working for you, this one is working for you. This one is not there, one is there. So you, you make it to be free. You know you have this freedom. You have this uh, you know. So that is what I think. I think we really need incitation from the village, that is from the local area, the local government to the state level. Go to places where you see people are making, they are doing well. Lagos, Port Harcourt, Kaduna, Kano. You see the level of business in Kaduna, just Kaduna, our neighbors here. You cannot compare Kaduna to, to, to Plateau when it comes to business. Our people really need to wake up. When you see businesses in Plateau, you either hear Igbo people, Igbo, then maybe Adamawa people, and Calabar and the rest. You at least see a plateau man, you know, holding. And even if you do the business, check their business. They don't give it time. They'll do it anyhow. Right? How can you make it? You need to invest money. You need to put in money. Put in your time. Then yeah, you'll make it. Uh, during the lockdown, I think uh, I, the whole, I think, Mongo South constituency, I did a uh, palliative. I think uh, I, I, I think I share rice, maggi, and what again, the salt, I think so. The whole Mongo South, I did it, selected people. The one in, we you know, in Mongo South constituency, we have the team zone and the central zone. So the team zone, I think the distribution was done in Mango. While the central zone, it was done in Mango, that's the central. So I did that, apart from that one, individual, whatever. And my staff, despite the fact that there was lockdown, most companies couldn't pay their staff. But I think I pay my staff much salary. I pay them April, and I'll pay them half in May. If you remember, the, the, the lockdown, total lockdown started from April. Yet I pay April, I pay half May. It's the biggest in Plateau. Mm, and I really don't really know who and who. It's just now that one of your colleagues was telling me that it's also the persons have been given award. So I don't really know. But uh, based on what I think I've had, of which uh, is good, you know, at times if you want to make judgment, you make it from outside than the, the main person. So they've told me that it's good that uh, um, uh, I think uh, that they are very it's, very, it's a very okay, very good, uh, you know, award of which it can, you know, it can add to your credentials and both of you. So I don't really know where the areas, I don't know what you put, I don't know the criteria you're using to select persons, I don't know. Uh, but I believe, I believe, uh, uh, you are doing this to motivate some people because if by the time you are what somebody you honor somebody you are telling him to do more it's a motivation so i would say you keep on doing it is good so when somebody is doing well most is touching lives especially you come in you 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 tell a person to do more Yes, well, you know, for honoring me with this, I think this is my biggest award I've received so far in Plateau, apart from the students, the, the religion, the tribal award. I think this is the biggest. I think this one cut across the whole Plateau and maybe the, the nation as a whole. So I think uh, this is to make me to, it's just like something that uh, I think Plateau people need. Uh, with, with receiving this award, it will make me to do more. It's really, really uh, push me to do more to my people, to my community, and to, to help to bring my own uh, 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 world of knowledge on how I can, you know, put, contribute my own quota. That is mostly the economy of Plateau State, because we cannot allow our state to be going back. So all of us need to come together. All hands need to be on deck to see that uh, we push Plateau forward. We don't have any state apart from Plateau State. So uh, we need to do anything possible 
you know, learn it, everything right to see that we are not left behind. Yes, I think uh, what I would like to say, I would say uh, is nothing but thank you for consider it worthy for you to call me to give me this award. I'm really grateful and I would like to say as you are doing it, let it be very, very credible enough so that you give it to people that deserve it. So, and you, you can see, you don't know, none of you know me. We were just meeting based on this category, you don't know me, so you can keep it like that, I think, uh, and you will continue to be the best in Plateau. By the time you are doing it based on sentiment, based on, you know, selection, or based on who you know, you will not you never progress. So please just keep it the way you are going so that we too that we are receiving this award we can say good thing about you. You can see I've never met you before. We only spoke on phone. So you don't know me from anywhere. Maybe you heard about me and you made your own research. So I think keep it that way. And by doing so, you will see the way you'll be excelling.